With previous studies showing that soy milk blocked the absorption of important phytonutrients, a question was asked to Dr. Greger in a recent Q&A, asking if we should avoid eating soy milk with antioxidant-rich foods such as berries, or using soy milk in our tea or coffee for the same reason. So let's have a look at the timeline of the research. Well, scientists initially found that cow's milk blocked the absorption of phytonutrients in chocolate. Others then found that cow's milk may completely block the beneficial effects of the phytonutrients in tea. Soy milk was then up next. The reason cow's milk blocks the benefits of tea is most likely due to the milk protein, casein, binding up all the phytonutrients. Since soy milk does not contain casein, we assumed that adding soy milk to tea would be fine, so it was tested measuring the beneficial effects on arterial cells in a petri dish, and all three types of soy milk they used, sweetened, calcium enriched and unsweetened, all had the same effect as cow's milk. So according to this study in a petri dish, the vascular effects of tea are suppressed by soy milk. Hmm. Okay, well, the same effect was found with chlorogenic acids, a type of polyphenol found in coffee. Cow's milk and coffee cut in half the absorption of these beneficial acids. Then, in a test tube experiment, coffee phytonutrients not only bound to dairy proteins, but soy proteins as well. But what about in human experiments? And could this effect also be seen in, say, almond milk? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger. Soy does indeed bind to uh, the flavonoids, but is then released um, in the colon, whereas casein uh, seems to kind of irreparably bind. None of the other milks have been tested, but they are so low, other plant-based milks are so low in protein, um, and it seems to be the protein component that I would not expect to be a problem. Only pea milk and soy have high enough protein to be concerned. Soy has been tested and shown not to be a problem. But uh, definitely the phytonutrients in dark chocolate or in tea or in berries. So we should not have cream and berries because it reduces the bioavailability of the wonderful things. Oh, coffee too, the chlorogenic acids in coffee, which we want, um, are impaired by drinking, for example, a dairy latte versus, you know, having a black. So as Dr. Greger mentioned, what the researchers found in the study was that soy proteins do initially bind the coffee compounds up in your small intestine, but then your good bacteria is able to release them so they can be absorbed down in your lower intestine. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.